and uh, the people who have dry skin mm-hmm. others who have uh, too oily skin they mm-hmm. don't have any breakout they don't have any but they just have o- purely oily skin mm-hmm. so unapata mtu anatembea kila time anakaanguza anapata mafuta nini nini mm-hmm. and uh, it doesn't feel so good mm-hmm. family looking for a place to enjoy sumptuous meals a place to have all kinds of drinks host to events celebrate anniversaries or even accommodation bedarin hotel has you covered at bedarin hotel we offer great meals in both our restaurant and barbecue garden gym facilities accommodation sauna and steam bath we are located along thika road superhighway in ruiru come all and have fun together hi everyone and welcome to royal trendy i'm your host beatrice kage and with me today is a guest who is the ceo and founder of lush naturals welcome to the show thank you so much how yeah. have you been been good and you i've been good too thank you so much how does it feel being a ceo mm, i'll say it is one fulfilling um uh, thing that uh, i ever thought over mm-hmm. and i feel so 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 humbled mm-hmm. with this uh, title mm-hmm. yes tell us a little bit about yourself like who who are you and uh, mm-hmm. where did you grow up okay i'm sharon imbuga mm-hmm. i'm a ceo founder lash naturals mm-hmm. where we deal with the natural organic products for hair and skin mm-hmm. uh, basically we deal with the so every concerns mm-hmm. to do with hair mm-hmm. and skin and also we offer consultations mm-hmm. on the same yeah mm-hmm. okay i'm just a simple kenyan girl uh who grew up in Kenya mm-hmm. specifically in Western province mm-hmm. and uh I am so glad to be here with you today mm-hmm. yeah you are very welcome yeah. and uh I would wish to know when did you start the company and yeah i started this company way before in 2017 mm-hmm. but uh, i was uh, just partly into this business mm-hmm. i was so employed somewhere else mm-hmm. so i was looking for for a side hustle mm-hmm. that I would do to mm-hmm. bring more income. Mm-hmm. So I got interested um, into skin and hair products. Mm-hmm. But then I didn't want to go the 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 usual way any watu wanaenda like uh, mm-hmm. doing the normal products no I just wanted a niche mm-hmm. that was uh, that was touching into natural mm-hmm. products organic products mm-hmm. yes. So, so let's say I uh, um, I was a uh, uh, as now as uh, we're speaking right now mm-hmm. i'm 3 years into the business okay yes so are there maybe uh, some other reasons why you found it necessary to have a side hustle yes definitely for everyone my dear you need money mm-hmm. cuz sababu you cannot say that um, money is enough you mm-hmm. know na so lazima utafute njia mbadala every here and there to mm-hmm. be, to earn some more mm-hmm. yeah and i thought also um Oh, uh, see ati liko tu side hustle peke yake. Mm-hmm. I needed something to to do for future. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something so, that I was so passionate with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So did you go to school to study maybe about hair, maybe skin? Not really. I'll just say it is an interest. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is an interest cuz uh, I can say that okay, uh, I studied finance mm-hmm. in school. Mm-hmm. But then Uh, as I told you earlier mm-hmm. I didn't want to to be employed like for long mm-hmm. even if I was going into employment I I, I had already told myself that I'll only work for like 3 3 years mm-hmm. then after that I quit employment and, and that is what to that. Yes. you just worked for 3 years and you started Perfectly. yes wow yeah <laughs> it is not everyone who does that Thank some of so. us say maybe I'll be doing this for the next 5 years and then I will quit but mm. you end up doing the, the same thing for 10 years very true Eh? Congratulations on all. Thank you mm-hmm. so much. Yeah. So, uh why hair and uh, skin? Okay, I chose basically hair and skin because I saw so many people struggling with hair and skin. Mm-hmm. You see, oh, uh, like for example, there is a time I was really really bad. Like mm-hmm. my uh, my skin was so bad. Mm-hmm. I had acne all over. Mhm. But then I was wondering what can I use mm-hmm. to get this uh, get rid of these acne. Mm-hmm. 
So when you pass up a river road, you'll be like, Auntie Mafuta, Auntie mm-hmm. Mafuta. So that thing really pissed me off, by the way. Could you kindly explain to them that condition? Like, Nini Nihio, maybe you are using a term that not acne. many people are very familiar with. So acne, acne occurs uh, mostly when your, your, skin, your, your skin is clogged, mm-hmm. your pores are, are, are clogged. Mm-hmm. So what happens, huh? the moment your skin is clogged, huh? mm-hmm. uh, you are... You are uh, you cannot the skin is not able to breathe mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. the moment the skin is not able to breathe what uh, what happens it starts bringing out breakouts mm-hmm. so these are the ones we call acne mm-hmm. yes so what are the common disorders have you noticed maybe that affect most people uh, at the moment you are dealing so much with acne mm-hmm. and uh, there are people who have dry skin Mm-hmm. Others who have uh, too oily skin, they mm-hmm. don't have any breakouts, they don't have any, but they just have oil, purely oily skin. Mm-hmm. So, na pata mtu anatembea kila time anapanguza, na pata mafuta nini nini, mm-hmm. and uh, it doesn't feel so good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Na hiyo dry skin, what causes? Uh, dry skin, uh, some, to some people, it's uh, hereditary. Mm-hmm. Yes. They're just people who are born with uh, dry skin. And, and also others, mm-hmm. they are, they're exposed to some harsh um, products. Mm-hmm. The moment you start using a, a certain product for a long time mm-hmm. and uh, it has steroids, mm-hmm. it beca- your face now changes directly from being a normal skin to totally dry skin. Mm-hmm. Yes. And is there a hope for those who are having maybe dry skin? Like what? Is yes, there anything yes. they can do? Yes, the moment uh, for dry skin, I usually advise you just keep your skin always moisturized. Apply an oil that doesn't clog pores, but mm-hmm. then it keeps your hair, your, your skin mm-hmm. moisturized. Mm-hmm. Yes. Also, uh, make use of the toner. A toner can be a ro- either rose water, you can use either rose water, witch hazel. Uh, lavender water, all mm-hmm. these are toners. So you just spray on your face, then you apply mm-hmm. moisturizer. That is it. Mm-hmm. Yes. And for those who are having maybe oily skin, for oily skin now that is where we have a you have a lot of tasks to do because mm-hmm. you have to adapt a routine mm-hmm. that you have to do every day. Mm-hmm. So in this case, I usually advise you mask your face mm-hmm. at least two times a week. Mm-hmm. Then after masking your face, you. For, that is two times a week. Mm-hmm. Then daily, you'll just be using a soap, mm-hmm. uh, an exfoliating soap. Mm-hmm. That can be either um, charcoal activated soap, uh, or rice soap, or black soap, depending on your skin type. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. So after that, after cleansing your, your face, you apply a moisturizer. You need uh, also a sunscreen mm-hmm. to protect your skin from uh, the UV lights mm-hmm. and the sunburns. Mm-hmm. And uh, also you need a serum. Yes. Mm-hmm. You've mentioned many products <laughs> that I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> yeah. And they're talking about the common disorders affecting uh, most people. We have those who suffer from maybe rashes. Mm. Is there a solution for them? Yeah, just the same thing with acne. Huh? Mm-hmm. So for them, you also have to adapt a, a routine. Mm-hmm. Yes. A routine that comprises a mask, toner, moisturizer, mm-hmm. cleanser, mm-hmm. and a serum. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can, uh, you can use either, you can use either, um, the various products actually, mm-hmm. for different skin types. Mm-hmm. So you cannot ascertain yourself the mm-hmm. kind of products you use unless you know your skin type. Because mm-hmm. you might be using products that are not for your skin type. Mm-hmm. Be, instead of uh, like killing you, they mm-hmm. worsen your situation. So you really need to know the kind of, um, products you, you're using mm-hmm. on your skin mm-hmm. and this is where uh, a skin therapy a, a skin uh, com- consultant comes in mm-hmm. yes so when someone comes to you first of all tell that person mm. the type of skin they have yes before you recommend which exactly. product to you yeah okay mm. and uh, you mostly major in a, um, in a alo- alopecia yeah, so, for skin, for mm-hmm. hair, that is for hair, right? That is for hair, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So why, why alopecia? Now, first of all, mm-hmm. uh, we have to understand what is alopecia. Mm-hmm. Alopecia is uh, simply loss of hair. Mm-hmm. So you can find some people losing hair 
so drastically mm-hmm. but uh, you don't understand you m- uh, most of them don't understand that this is alopecia that has set in mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so the uh, different types of alopecia mm-hmm. we have scarring alopecia mm-hmm. we have non scarring alopecia mm-hmm. and we have uh, an autoimmune alopecia mm-hmm. uh, others call it, call it uh, alopecia areata mm-hmm. so in scarring alopecia mm-hmm. this is where you find like someone is just losing his hair mm-hmm. someone is going bald mm-hmm. but then in this situation there is nothing much you can do because mm-hmm. uh, i usually just advise you go seek for dermatology um prescription mm-hmm. or um you see what the dermatologist has, uh, has to say about mm-hmm. that alafu there is the, this non scarring mm-hmm. non scarring now your hair just starts to thin mm-hmm. and in this case you can revive it mm-hmm. meaning that the follicles are still active mm-hmm. in that area mm-hmm. so when you use the right product at this moment at this mm-hmm. time before mm-hmm. it goes worse mm-hmm. it can be helped the hair can be revived mm-hmm. then there is this autoimmune now areata mm-hmm. now this one i usually just recommend totally you have to see because uh, it is something that is coming from within mm-hmm. and uh, i usually deal i only deal with the external effects mm-hmm. yes but if something that is coming within from mm-hmm. within mm-hmm. actually advise you see the dermatologist or the trichologist maybe there are things we do that uh, maybe leads to such yeah there's so many factors that will lead to loss of hair mm-hmm. uh just to mention a few mm-hmm. uh you can get one is a uh, genetic like this is from your parents mm-hmm. both parents maybe uko family yenu kulikuwa na mtu wenye alikuwa na katika nywele so in uh, in uh, some uh, at some point utajipata kama umefanya nini umeanza kukatika nywele mm-hmm. like those people who are going bald like for men no na kiara tu imeanza kukuja hapa hivi yes mm-hmm. that is genetic mm-hmm. but there are those the the those that and uh, to cut you short there's yes. nothing you can do about that like it is just natural like that Okay it depends with the extent of uh, of the nini or the damage. Mm-hmm. If the hair follicles are still active at that area mm-hmm. then we can give you a topical application that will help to revive the the hair. Mm-hmm. But then if it's totally bald mm-hmm. now that is meaning that the follicles are totally dead at that place mm-hmm. with there's nothing much you can do. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Uh then um there is this autoimmune. Mm-hmm. Now in this autoimmune the only thing we usually advise is just go for a therapy. Mm-hmm. Therapy works well for with the alopecia areata. Mm-hmm. This way you get uh, your scalp massage and all that. Mm-hmm. Yes. So there is the loss of hair and then there is a stunted growth. Is mm-hmm. there a difference or are they the same thing? Like you find no, there no, are no, people they're not they're mm-hmm. not the same. Mm-hmm. Standard hair growth meaning that your hair is not growing it's just mm-hmm. reached uh, at a point that is not growing totally. Mm-hmm. And uh, alopecia or loss of hair is the nearly nakatika from the root. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So we shall say uh, we shall uh, in standard uh, hair growth huh? mm-hmm. inakuja inakosionga na very many factors. Mm-hmm. This will include uh, age, mm-hmm. genetics, the people who are affected by their hormones mm-hmm. and the others who are affected by stress mm-hmm. yes so when you f- you 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 see your hair imacha ima to grow you have to ascertain what is causing it mm-hmm. not to grow you have to know the cause yes first. you have to know the cause first mm-hmm. before you now you get to the root point mm-hmm. uh, of getting now uh, a what a uh, suluhisho mm-hmm. yes. getting a solution to that yes So what can uh, what can someone do to regain their hair? Okay, there are so many things you can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, first, if the extent of the hair loss is so intense, mm-hmm. this is why I advise you go to see a trichologist to to ascertain mm-hmm. what is the root cause. Mm-hmm. They'll give you uh, some medication mm-hmm. that you'll take internally. Mm-hmm. Also you they'll give you some topical applications mm-hmm. some serums that help to regrow back the hair mm-hmm. also you have to check on your diet mm-hmm. the kind of things that you are eating uh reflects more on your skin and on Seriously? hair Seriously? yes so you have to eat things that you have to eat food mm-hmm. that really are rich in um in growing your hair mm-hmm. and giving you the the right like 
So give us examples. Some of us don't even know what we are supposed <laughs> to take. Yes. Uh, it re okay. In terms of food, I will not touch so much into food. Mm -hmm. But in terms of topical application, because I deal with cosmetic, mm -hmm. I actually advise you get uh, some oils, oils mm -hmm. that are good at stimulating the hair follicles. Mm -hmm. You can get an oil that has essential in uh, essential oils inside. Mm -hmm. Essential oils basically helps to stimulate follicles mm -hmm. a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. So that the, the those places when you have bald, when you have form baldness, they mm -hmm. sprout. Mm -hmm. And the best oils to use in this case are like rosemary, mm -hmm. uh, peppermint, eucalyptus, mm -hmm. you can use castor, mm -hmm. you can use um, what else? Uh, carrot oil. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, we have some of your products here with us yes. on this table. Yeah. Please take us through them. Okay. Now, this is Ayurvedic. Mm -hmm. Just show them. Mix powder. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. So this Ayurvedic mist powder is made up of different uh, Ayurvedic powders mm -hmm. like Kamla, Fenugreek, uh, Brahmin, uh, Bridge Raj, all the Cassia. Mm -hmm. All these powders help to stimulate the hair follicles. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this originates from India. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you put the, all these powders all together, mm -hmm. then you mix it down up. Mm -hmm. Now what you're doing, you're mixing up with the with a deep conditioner. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we are doing this during your wash day. You take, depending on the hair volume, mm -hmm. you take two spoons of this, mm -hmm. two spoons of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You mix them all together. Mm -hmm. Then you take some warm water. Mm -hmm. You add it on the on that bowl. Mm -hmm. You mix them all together. Mm -hmm. Make the make sure that the, the consistency is um is um is yogurt like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. You wash your hair. After washing your hair, mm -hmm. you apply the paste. Mm -hmm. After applying the paste, you stay like for two hours. Okay. After for two hours, then you wash. You wash it off. Mm -hmm. Make sure that uh, after washing off, you deep condition your hair mm -hmm. just to remove the the flakes mm -hmm. or uh, some particles that are remaining on the hair. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. After applying the deep conditioner, you stay in your dryer like for fifteen minutes. Then you wash it off again. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you'll apply the leave-in mm -hmm. leave deep conditioner. Mm -hmm. This is for treatment. Mm -hmm. Just to treat your hair and make sure that uh, your hair doesn't have impurities. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you'll apply the leave-in. Now the leave-in, you don't wash so it off. So it means we also have impurities in our hair. Yes. You wow. have to detox your hair every now and then. Like how often? Uh, monthly. Otherwise, uh, you detox your hair monthly. Mm -hmm. That is using bentonized clay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is very rich in uh, some calcium. Mm -hmm. Yes. So after I was saying after um, you wash your shampoo off, you apply the leave-in. Mm -hmm. Then you will follow it up with the hair growth serum. Mm -hmm. This hair growth serum is so, so, so nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. It helps to stimulate the hair follicles. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, if you have receding hairline, it helps to regain it. Mm -hmm. If you have issues with volume, dandruff, it helps to to remove the dandruffs and uh, itchy scalp helps to calm the scalp wow. also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this procedure will be doing it mm -hmm. only two times a, uh, a month. Because mm -hmm. you understand you have to wash your hair like by weekly. Yeah, you have to. Yes. The moment you leave your hair like for one month or something, it's got something else. Mm -hmm. You're exposing your hair to so much external factors mm -hmm. that will later affect your hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. So... This is for during your day, your wash day, all mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, for your daily use, you'll mm -hmm. need this one. Mm -hmm. This is a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll need your hair serum. Mm -hmm. So what you do to your hair, you mm -hmm. just open your knee, you then you spray it on your hair. Mm -hmm. After spraying it on your hair, you take your hair serum. Mm -hmm. It has a nozzle, mm -hmm. very good for dispensing. Mm -hmm. So you just put in your on your scalp. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you massage. Do a proper massage of your hair. Because mm -hmm. uh, the moment you, you massage your hair, the scalp gets stimulated. So you have a massive hair growth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm. And uh, there's someone uh, who told me that, uh, actually it's not someone. Mm. Like many people say, dandruffs ni chakula chanyueli. Is that true? Not really. Unajua, dandruffs zinakosi wangu na very many things. Others zinakuanga ni kama dermatitis. Something that is originating from inside. 
So you have to seek for a medical uh, attention actually. Mm-hmm. Then drugs see si atini kitu cha kule no na that's a lie. You mean that is something you can go to a doctor to Yes, just... you have to. Others are conditions. Wow. Yes, you might think that hii ni kadanda za kawaida. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Inaweza kuwa ni problem ina 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 emulate from inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ikuje ikuwe kubwa baadaye yes. yet yeah. you're being told by some other people that hii ni nini ni chakula. Ni chakula cha nywele. Hapana. Aha. So tuambie wewe personally what mm-hmm. is your current hair care routine? Personally, okay, see let me just speak generally. Mm-hmm. Because I have dreadlocks and there's no uh, for dreadlocks. Let me start speaking about my dreadlocks. Mm-hmm. Now for my dreadlocks during my wash day, because um, the moment to introduce deep conditioner on dreadlocks, mm-hmm. it might cause buildups. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So what I usually do during my wash day, mm-hmm. I just mix three spoons of these ones, depending mm-hmm. on the volume of my hair. Mm-hmm. Right now, mm-hmm. three spoons of these is this one with the warm water. Mm-hmm. Then I mix it, I let it infuse overnight. Mm-hmm. Then kesho yake I just shampoo my hair after shampooing. I apply this powder, the 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 mixture. Mm-hmm. After that I wash like I wear shower cap. Um stay like for 2 hours. I mm-hmm. wash it off. After washing it off, I apply my leave-in mm-hmm. deep conditioner, mm-hmm. then follow it up with the hair grow serum mm-hmm. and hydrating butter. That mm-hmm. is it. Mm-hmm. Yes. But during these other days, I just moisturize my hair mm-hmm. with this, mm-hmm. then apply the hair grow serum. Mm-hmm. That is it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone told me that uh, if your hair is not growing you can just cut it off and then it starts again and not really is that a solution it's not a solution but it's also it's usually advised mm-hmm. that you trim your hair at least after six weeks after six D- weeks yes after six weeks so that to give those sprouting hairs from uh, nini inside mm-hmm. zikuja zifanye nini zime pia mm-hmm. the moment unajua uh, zinaitwa the split ends mm-hmm. the moment you have a lot of split ends zinazoia zile zenye ziko chini ku sprout mm-hmm. out so it's good to trim your hair mm-hmm. yes but uh, hair grows every time nyole na grow mtu asai kudanganya ati nyole yako ama you'll get some magic uh, products to make your hair grow no mm-hmm. your hair grows every day every time mm-hmm. so you just have to adapt a good routine for mm-hmm. your hair mm-hmm. so that uh, you have the hair a healthy hair mm-hmm. you don't need uh, like uh, long hair mm-hmm. you just need a healthy hair mm-hmm. mm. so You'd rather have a healthy short hair than yes, a long, long and healthy hair. Very true. Wow. Mm. That is so nice. Yeah. At least now I know. <laughs> and uh what did uh there's a friend of mine who was telling me that mm. uh whenever she gets pregnant, mm. she loses her hair. Yeah, this happens a lot, huh? Mm-hmm. It is called a postpartum hair loss. Mhm. This one is um mostly when a change when hormones. Mm-hmm. So the moment hormones are not balanced during mm-hmm. you know, you're pregnant your hormones in a shift. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. So this uh the moment you may give birth no kuna kwanga na hiyo postpartum shedding. Mm-hmm. But in this case we surely advise mm-hmm. don't stress so much about it. Just get something to stimulate your hair follicles and mm-hmm. massage that area. Mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. you'll have it um you'll you'll have your hair grow back so for a healthy hair like mm. for how long should you keep for it to be long uh for healthy for a, if, uh, if your hair is very healthy like kuna watu wanasema nywele yangu like unapata kuna mwenye ameweka yake for two years and it is very long and then mm. there's the other one mwenye ameweka for two years na haiko that low kwa sababu ya routine it all amounts back to to the routine mm-hmm. which kind of routine do you have for your hair mm-hmm. are you having the right products for your hair because mm-hmm. uh, there are people mm-hmm. who are okay generally we have different hair porosity mm-hmm. porosity ni inamaanisha like the extent of which your hair will be able to absorb maji unaona so what what happens mm-hmm utapata ule mtu mwenye ako na 2 years nyo lake imerefuka sana mm-hmm. mwingine ako na 2 years nyo lake ni short mm-hmm. is it all amounts to the kind of regimen you have mm-hmm. get the right regimen for your hair get the right products for your hair mm-hmm. what what works for you might not 
automatically works for me. Mm-hmm. Alafu pia kitu kingine inachangia anga mm-hmm. ni jeans. Kwenye kuna watu wenye wako na nywele mrefu mrefu. <laughs> okay? Mm-hmm. So the moment nitaanza kusema ati kwa oh uko na nywele we are using the same products ni nini mm-hmm. but your, your hair is growing so long than mm-hmm. mine and all that maybe jeans zinachangia. Hmm? But uh, above all just maintain the right regimen mm-hmm. for your hair. That it all amounts to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na uh, I would wish to know is these styles zenye tuneka kwa kichwa. Mm. Here do they matter? Yes, they matter a lot and a lot a lot mm-hmm. a lot a lot. Kwa sababu the moment tuneka zile styles zenye zina manipulate your follicles meaning that follicles zako zina become weak. Kama gani? They, you know we might be doing what we even don't know there are so issues. many styles mm-hmm. zenye zina manipulate uh, follicles. Mm-hmm. Kama braids, ukishuka braids mm-hmm. na salonist wako afanye ku, ku, kuzikaza sana. Mm-hmm. Meaning that an affect nini? Follicles zako. Nyola haifai kuwe tight by mm-hmm. the way. Mtu akikushuka nywele inafai kuwe very okay na kanit but uh, not so much tight. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. There are very many protect, protective hairstyles huko nje zenye watu wanashuka siku hizi, mm-hmm. um, spring twist, ma flat twist. Mm-hmm. Others just like their hairs like that. Hata matuta, matuta is very good by the way. Hmm? But you can't go for work with matuta. No, nice <laughs> matutas. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice the nice matuta. Someone does it you very nice. The salonist. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so make sure that when you're going to the salon, mm-hmm. your salon is your salon is not manipulating your follicles. Mm-hmm. Yes. So for someone maybe who wants to get your products, where are you located? Okay, we are located at Renji Plaza mm-hmm. along Ronaldingala Street. Mm-hmm. We are at first floor, shop number F68. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm, we are also on Facebook. You can order through our Facebook account, Lash Naturals. Mm-hmm. Our Instagram, Lash Naturals. Mm-hmm. And um, where else? Jumia also you can order mm-hmm. from Lash Naturals. Wow. Uh, yeah. And uh, what? are you going through any challenges in your business? Yeah. Challenges are all over. Like in every business, there must be a challenge. Mm-hmm. You but don't know where you're dealing with pre- women <laughs> products <laughs> I mostly know. and the women. But you see, the women like the clients mm-hmm. out here mm-hmm. who like uh, what do I say? What I would do, please. Hmm? I would do. I would do. There are there are there are instances where mm-hmm. you're selling a product to a client. Mm-hmm. A client expects miracles. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you're trying to tell them these are natural products. Mm-hmm. They need time for you to start seeing some change. Mm-hmm. But a client will take a product, go like for two weeks, they mm-hmm. come back. These products are not doing anything. <laughs> now you're wondering what will I do? Mm-hmm. But you have to be there to encourage them, mm-hmm. to give them hope mm-hmm. that these things will work. Just give them time. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is a part of the challenges that we surely have with our clients. Mm-hmm. But we love our clients so much. Mm-hmm. That's why we take time to be with them, to walk the journey with them. Mm-hmm. The moment we give you something, we make sure we follow up mm-hmm. that uh, how are you doing? How is the product doing? If there is need of a change, mm-hmm. we change it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what does your product contain, like the ingredients? Now, like for this hair growth serum, mm-hmm. this serum contains um, carrier oils and essential oils. Mm-hmm. Some of the carrier oils are, uh, that are used in this um, hair serum mm-hmm. are uh, vitamin E, almond, mm-hmm. avocado, mm-hmm. Al- uh, olive. Mm-hmm. Then I have jojoba, argan, mm-hmm. and some carrot. Mm-hmm. Then for essential oils, I have tea tree neat, lavender. Mm-hmm. I have peppermint and rosemary okay. and other essential oils. Mm-hmm. Yes, or yeah. Okay. And for uh, these uh, other conditioners, and mm-hmm. uh, they all have natural ingredients. Mm-hmm. So it's been pleasure having you on this show. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you for showing up and uh, thank you for keeping time. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. You too. Yeah.
We've had an amazing interview with the CEO and founder of the Lush Naturals. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've been your host, Beatrice Kageha. Bye-bye.